Hi, I'm Walter. Let's have a look at what a Penrose styling is, how to make them in wrapper, and what to keep in mind when exporting them afterwards. The Penrose styling is a relatively new type of pattern. It was first described in the 1970s by Sir Roger Penrose, a British mathematician. So what makes the Penrose styling so special? On the one hand, it is made of just two simple diamond shapes. And you can definitely see repeating elements in the pattern. On the other hand, and amazingly, there's no part of the tiling that can describe the whole. This is what gives the tiling its semi-repetitive look, which makes it so aesthetically pleasing to look at. To use the Penrose tiling in wrapper, open the pattern panel and then look in the tiling list for the two Penrose options, here and here. So what's the difference between these two? The one called Penrose is the original tiling. It is gorgeous, but it's not seamless, so it will require the right kind of source image to work with. You can watch our video on tilings with seams to learn more about that. The other one is called the Diamond Penrose. This one we developed ourselves, adding some reflections to make the tiling seamless. It's one of my favorite tilings, and here are some of the patterns that I made with it. As I mentioned, the Penrose tiling does not have a repeatable section. This means that they cannot be exported as a tile. Instead, you always export it as a surface. Quick tip, you can position the pattern on the surface to create the composition that you want. Click the recenter button if you ever want to bring the pattern back to its original center position. So that's the Penrose tiling. I hope you give it a go and create some beautiful patterns with it. To start designing, head over to wrapper.app.